Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to another Nerdy Nummies. Now today's video is really special because we are celebrating my very first HBO show, which is a baking competition show. It's called Baketopia and you can find it on HBO Max. And we are making something that you see a lot of in the show. I can't believe this is here in my house. This is the actual baking trophy. And if you aren't familiar with my new TV show, each episode multiple bakers compete to win. And we have a winner each episode who wins not only $10,000, but the bake trophy. These are custom made by the art department. They are just bigger than life. They are amazing. And fun fact, my show actually makes and mails these to the winners. It is not just for entertainment. Look how cool this is. It's Huge! It's almost as big as me! All the episodes of my baking show are out on HBO Max. I'll put a link down below if you want to go check it out and watch it. You can. So to celebrate the show for today's video, we are going to make the slice of cake in the bake trophy. We are going to be making a rainbow multi-layer gold pour drip cake. What? Let's get started. Okay, hold on. This thing is so big. I got to put it back over here and I have to be really careful because this is actually one of the winner's trophies. They were sweet enough to let me borrow it, but you guys, I'm not faking this. This is not like an extra trophy. So thank you very much. You know who you are. Um, I'm borrowing this so I could do this episode today. And if we break it here, um, you guys will know who did, <laughs> did it. We're not gonna break it, knock on wood. So the recipe that we're using today is a vanilla cake recipe from my newest cookbook, Baking All Year Round, and I'm making a double batch because to make our cake, we're gonna be needing to make five little cakes. So we are gonna need five six inch round pans and I've greased and lined these with a piece of parchment paper that we're gonna put at the bottom so that nothing will stick. So we need to make a lot of cake batter. The first step to making our vanilla cake is mixing together our dry ingredients. In a large bowl, you're gonna combine your flour, cake flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. Salty, salty. Then using a whisk, whisk together until well combined. Also, I'll be putting all the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below, so if you'd like to follow along at home, you can. Once whisked, we're gonna set this off to the side. Next step is creaming together our butter and sugar. I'm gonna be doing so in an electric stand mixer and not just any stand mixer. This is the commercial size stand mixer. I used the big bad boy today because we are making a double recipe. All right, and watch this, this is pretty cool. It's so big it has like a, a lever system. <laughs> So what you're gonna do is add your sugar and your butter into the mixing bowl. And remember, you want your butter to be at room temperature. You don't want it to be melted. Let's crank it up. We're gonna mix together until it's light and fluffy. This usually takes just a couple minutes. Ooh, our butter and sugar is looking really good. Now we're gonna add four eggs. We're gonna add them one at a time, mixing in between. And we're also gonna be adding the full egg, the yolk, and the white. Once you've added your eggs, add your vanilla and almond extract. Mmm, take a little whiff for yourself, because these smell so good. And then mix again. Once mixed, we're gonna add our dry ingredients and our buttermilk. We're gonna alternate adding these two into our stand mixer, starting and ending with the dry ingredients. So we'll add a little bit of dry ingredients, mix it up, little buttermilk, mix it up, little dry, mix it up, little buttermilk, mix it up. And last but not least, a little bit of dry, and mix it up. The cake batter is all mixed and ready. I divided it between five different bowls because we're gonna be making five different color layers of cake. The colors we're using are purple, pink, orange, yellow, and blue. And I'm just gonna mix them into each batter, starting with, ooh, we've got a little pink. So I'm just gonna add a couple drops and mix it up. Every food coloring is a little bit different, so just mix until you get the color you want. This looks perfect. <laughs> 
Now we're gonna do this to our other cake batter. The cake batter is now colored and ready to pour into our little baking pan. So that's what I'm going to do. Each pan gets its own color batter. So just scoop in the batter, scoop, 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 like so. Now we're gonna do this to the rest of the cake batter. We've got all of the batter in the pans and now these cakes are ready to bake. You're gonna heat your oven to a little bit of a reduced heat to 325 degrees and bake for about 30 to 35 minutes. After the cakes have baked, give them plenty of time to cool. In front of me, I've got one of the cakes. I even popped it in the fridge to chill just for a little bit. And I leveled it to be about an inch tall. You can do this using a cake leveler or a sharp cutting knife. If you're using a cutting knife and just eyeballing it, just be careful, don't get your fingers. We're gonna cut a triangle shape basically with a rounded back because we want our final cake to look like the trophy and look like a huge slice of cake. I've got this little template I cut out of paper, but it's basically just a triangle. But I like to use a template because all the layers of cake will be the same exact size so that when I stack them, they will line up perfectly. All right, so put the template on top and cut just like so. Remove the extra cake. There's so many things you can do with this. You can have a little snack for yourself or you can crumble these together, add a little frosting or cream cheese or even chocolate ganache and you can make cake pops. Now you're gonna do this to each layer of cake. Once you've got your cake layers leveled and cut out, it is time to stack and frost. We are gonna build this cake. This is like Legos, this is like Lincoln Logs. Let me know in the comments below if you have played with either of those. Most of you have probably played with Legos, but may maybe not Lincoln Logs. Maybe that was just us. Molly, do you think most people play with Lincoln Logs too? They're still a thing. It, they are? They're out there. Okay, they're out there. So let me know, did you play with Legos or Lincoln Logs? Mo and I, my sister and I, we played with both. To stack this cake, I'm gonna start building it on this cake plate. I'm using gold because that is the color of the trophy over here. And I've got some buttercream icing in this piping bag with just a circle tip at the end for a little bit more control. I'm gonna pipe a little dollop right onto the cake plate. And this is gonna act like a little bit of glue. Now you're gonna start with the blue layer first, cause just like the trophy, you can see the blue layer is on the bottom. It's a nice bright blue. I'm gonna center it here on the cake plate, apply some pressure, there we go. And that's gonna help hold it in place. Right now is when you wanna pick what you're gonna serve your cake on, whether it's a cake plate or just a regular plate or like a cake stand, whatever you're gonna serve it on, you wanna start assembling it on now so that you don't have to do a wibbly wobbly transfer. I have done them, I've done it a bunch and it always gives me a mini heart attack. <laughs> we got our first layer there. Pipe some icing in between each layer. I'm just piping a thin layer because this cake is gonna be pretty tall and I don't want it to get out of control, but you want enough so you can see the layer of icing. Then using a small spatula, I'm just gonna spread the icing flat so everything's nice and even. Then place on your second layer of cake, this is gonna be the yellow cake, and my pro tip is to line up the tips of the cake. And it's okay if the back is uneven, because we can cover it with buttercream. The look of the cake has a lot of buttercream in the back, like we actually cut into a big cake. So you want the front to line up perfectly, and then don't worry about the back, we can cover it. All right, now we're gonna stack orange. Again, lining it up at the front. Now, we are gonna add some support. Whenever you're making a taller cake, you wanna use some cake rods or dowels, but I'm gonna be using boba straws because this is what I have in my kitchen. These work really well too. I'm gonna be placing two of them, one towards the front and one towards the back, right in the middle of the cake. You're gonna slowly and steadily push the straw all the way down straight to the bottom. Mark it with your finger. Right here, I just do a little pinch. Then I very gently pull up just a hair and cut right underneath. And then push down. Boop. Then we're gonna do one more right in front. Again, slow and steady, straight down all the way to the bottom. Mark it with your finger, pull up, cut, and down you go. We've got cake support. Yeah, yeah, we can build taller now. To build our cake taller and on top of these three layers, I've got a little triangle cake board which is gonna sit on top of those straws. Put a little frosting, boop, just like that. Then your cake board. Now for our next layer. Just gonna put a little bit of icing down. Add the next layer on top of your cake board. And don't worry if you can kind of see the edges of your cake board. We're gonna cover it with a little bit of icing before we're finished. Put a little bit of icing, then we'll add our top layer. Ta-da! Our cake is looking good. It is stacked and assembled. Now we are gonna add some more buttercream icing on the top of the cake, 
on the back of the cake, which will also hide the imperfections, and between each layer. Like we're gonna pipe in between each layer to just look a little prettier. Let's ice. Again, I'm using a piping bag with a round tip at the end just for a little bit more control. I like to pipe an outline and then fill it in, then using a small offset spatula, smooth it out. Once the cake is stacked in ice, we're gonna pop it in the fridge to chill for 30 minutes. Just be careful when you're moving it. You don't want it to fall over. After the cake has chilled in the fridge, we're gonna paint onto the white icing some gold luster dust because the trophy in between each layer, the frosting is gold. So all you're gonna need is some gold luster dust. I put it in a small bowl right here. And then we're gonna add about a fourth teaspoon of lemon extract. Because when you mix luster dust with a little bit of alcohol, uh, extract has an alcohol base. It becomes a really cool paint. It paints on to frosting. I have two different paint brushes. I have a smaller one for the in-between layers and then a bigger one to paint the back and top. I'm just gonna mix it up really well, work in all the luster dust, and look at that. Liquid edible gold, you guys. Woo! Just be careful when you're adding lemon extract. You don't wanna add too much or it will become too runny and too thin. You want your luster dust to be a little thick. Then you just paint right onto the icing. And this is why you also wanna chill the cake so that the icing is nice and cold. It's lying flat. It just makes it a little easier to work with. See, this is what I'm talking about. Because the gold is not too thin, I don't have to do a second coat. Remember, you're painting this on top of the icing, so just be a little gentle. So that is how you paint the cake layers in between, and now I'm gonna show you how to paint the top and the back. It's a little bit faster because we're using a larger brush, but look at that. <laughs> this is so much fun. This makes me wanna paint more cakes. This is awesome. Look at this cake. You could stop right here, right now. Like this looks like the cake, a big slice from the trophy. But what I'm gonna do is attempt a gold drip on top. Now there's a couple different techniques in order to do this. The way to get it absolutely perfect looking, just like looking for camera, would be to pipe using the buttercream icing, little drips coming down the side of the cake and then painting it gold like we did here, the same technique. But I want to do a real gold drip. Full disclaimer, I have done a drip cake, but I've never done a gold drip, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. If it's a disaster, just keep this image in your mind, all right? We made this. <laughs> the recipe for my gold drip is powdered sugar, a little lemon extract, and some gold luster dust. So a similar recipe, but with powdered sugar, which is what you make icing out of. To make it look identical to the Baketopia Trophy, I have poured it into a gold measure cup, and now I'm gonna pour it over the cake. Oh my gosh, I'm a little nervous. Here we go, here we go. I put a baking sheet underneath just in case. Oh, 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 oh. Do we got some good drips? Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's looking so cool! It's working! You can also gently use a spatula. I'm doing that on the top of the cake so it gets a really nice smooth finish. It's very similar to like a cookie icing, so just be very gentle. And ta-da! There you have it. Here is our rainbow five layer gold drip cake. It looks exactly like the trophy from Bigtopia. I am so excited about how this turned out. I'll be taking lots of pictures and posting the ingredients and recipes all over my social media. So go check out my Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. I'll be posting a bunch of things over there. And if any of you guys make this cake at home or any other Baketopia treats, 
post it and use the hashtag Baketopia Cake so that I can find it and like it and heart it and favorite it because I love seeing your baking creations. It just makes me happy. It makes my day. If you like watching nerdy dummies, give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And if you want to check out my new show, Baketopia, on HBO Max, I'll put a link down below. Also, let me know in the comments down below what other treats you'd like to see me make, what other nerdy nummies you'd like to see, and I will do my best to make them happen. Here's your twin. This is really a massive trophy. Also, thank you to the Baketopia champion who let me borrow this. I don't want to spoil it, but you know who you are. I will be mailing this back to you very carefully. And today, and right now, I'm gonna go do that. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna have a bite of this delicious cake. All right, bye-bye.